In this video, I'm going to explain how to estimate low voltage. I have an estimate open on this screen, and I'm in the takeoff edit mode. Now, the basis of estimating any project using Red Rhino is to make a material list and input the materials into Red Rhino. So after you make your material list, you come into Red Rhino and input quantities. I'll show you what I mean. First, I want to explain something. When estimating low voltage with Red Rhino, Red Rhino has labor only for the items, meaning it does not have material pricing. So what you do is you make your material list and input those items into Red Rhino, and it will calculate and total the labor for you, but you must also get the materials quoted from your wholesale vendor. Okay, So you have to get the materials quoted. On the left, you see, we see the product catalog. Under the product catalog, 4,000, 5,000, and 5,500 in the product catalog are in reference to low voltage products. So 4,000 is labeled structured cabling, low voltage, labor only. 5,000 is access control, security, audio, visual, and 5,500 is fire alarm. Next, I'll drill down into one of the categories and see how to use it. First, I'm going to click on the plus sign next to 4,000, and when I do, it displays subcategories under category 4,000. Here we see cable, patch cords, panels, connectors, face plates. I won't read all these off, but as you, as you, or I should say, when you watch this video, click along and actually do what I do to learn how to use Red Rhino software. First, I'm just going to select cable. So I'll click the plus sign next to cable here. And again, it displays subcategories underneath. We have category copper multi-pair, coax, fiber, interduct, pulling supplies, and dressing. I'm going to click on what I call drill down into copper multi-pair. And when I do, it populates products at the bottom. At this point, if I need to, just so you know, I can put my cursor, you can put your cursor, I should say, on this line here going up and down the page. Put your cursor, left click, and you can move that, hold it down, you can move it over and do what I call unsquinch if you need to. Okay, so now at the bottom here it shows 4 pair, 25 pair cable, 50 pair, scroll on down here, clear up to 1200 pair cable. Okay, so I'm just, as an example, I'm going to put in 5,000 feet, 5,000, 5,000 feet, say I want to install or estimate 5,000 feet of four-pair cable. I put in 5,000. In Red Rhino, don't ever put commas in, okay? Red Rhino um, doesn't, uh, doesn't work with them, so just put raw numbers in, no commas or punctuation in any of these. Now, after I put in the footage here, I'm going to click Add. When I click Add, it populates the cable up to the right side. Now, let me explain. If I wanted to, before I click Save over here, I'm going to do that next, I could go change anything that's what's called open dialog boxes. I could change the description, the quantity, the price, which is zero here. If I wanted to put the price of that in here, I could type the price in here. Now, I want to explain something. Unit of measure, there's three different units of measure in Red Rhino. And I'm going to click this drop down. I can select the unit of measure if I want. Just so you know, E stands for each, C is the Roman numeral uh, C for 100, and M is 1,000. So cable products you're, you'll find that are populated in here per 1,000 feet. So let me start over and kind of at the, from left to right. It shows a description of the product, the quantity that was input, the price, which in, in low voltage items will always be zero and unit of measure. Over at the right now, the program has a, a, a labor catalog where when you go put something into an estimate, it pulls the labor from the labor catalog. This is set up for 4.9 hours, I should say 4.94 hours, to install a 1,000 feet of cable, the Roman numeral um, M. Now, when I save this over here, it does the labor extension for you. Let me just save it real quick. I click Save. And when it flashes, I see that I've input the four pair cable and it shows 24.7 hours to install all 5,000 feet. When you're learning to use Red Rhino, just noodle around in here and go play around with it and input some items to see how it works. Check out these different categories. I'm going to go to something else and input it next. 
let me just show you. I'm going to click on coax next. So I click on coax up here on the top left, and it displays different types of and sizes of coax here. So here's a RJ5859 coax, RG6, RG11. I'm just going to go ahead and put in some RG6. I'm going to put in 130 feet, 130. Click Add, populates to the top, click Save to save my work. Next, I'm going to, going to go into Product 4000 underneath there. I want to show you how this behaves. When I click the little negative sign, it collapses the menu. See that? And then you can go down and drill down into something else. I'm going to click on the plus sign next to Panels. So notice the subcategories, patch panels, coax panels, fiber panels, etc. terminal block, strain relief. So I'm going to click on patch panels, and when I do, it will populate them down at the bottom here. So what you do is you take off the quantity of patch panels and go input them here. As an example, I'm just going to put in 124 port, put in a quantity 1, 148 port, quantity 1, click Add, populates up to the top and I'll click Save Next. Now again, for patch panels, it's not terminate, it doesn't include terminations or anything, it's just mounting a patch panel and it shows 0.62 hours. Here, let me save my work first. I'll click Save here. And then we see it shows the, again, description quantity. This is, this is uh, per each on this item here. It's per each. So it shows 0.62 hours each which is about a little bit over half an hour. Something else I want to throw out here just real quick. Red Rhino inputs labor in hundreds of an hour and it displays in decimal form for more accuracy. So 0.62 represents 0.62 of an hour. I'm going to go ahead and collapse the menu and show you something else. So I'll click on the negative sign next to 4000 and it collapses the menu. Now, in other videos, I'm going to show you how to use assemblies. I suggest you don't get ahead of yourself right now. Watch this video, but uh, eventually we're going to get into some assemblies. Okay, now, now next I'm going to click on 5000, Access Control Security. Again, see the subcategories? I just click on one, and it populates at the bottom. Now let me move this over and unsquinch it. Move it over until I can see everything on a single line there. So again, after you make your material list or do your material takeoff, you come input the materials here. Now this is going to be labor only for this item, these items. I'm just going to go and put uh, one push button, four electric strikes, quantity of four, one card reader, four electromagnets. Now you see how this works. You make your material list, you come and input it in here like a laundry list, then you click add. When it populates to the right, you click the Save button to save your work. And here on these lines, we see the outcome, or I should say the output, for the different uh, items that were input. In other words, it shows the labor for those items. Now, look at line 11 here. Notice how I put four electric strikes in, and it shows a quantity of zero for the unit price. Okay, the labor, however, it shows an hour each, 1.0 is one hour, and so it shows the extended hours is four hours for four electric strikes. I'm talking about this line right here, okay? Let me save to stop highlighting it. Now my goal in this video is just to show you how to explore for yourself in here. Next I'm going to go Collapse 5000, click the little negative sign next to it, and I'm going to open Fire Alarm. So I'll click on Fire Alarm, and it shows subcategories here. Notice it shows Fire Alarm Products and Fire Alarm Cable. I'm going to click on Fire Alarm Products, and it'll populate them down at the bottom. Move this over so I can read it, and again, you just go Input quantities of your components here, add and save. I'm going to do that just real quick with a few items. And you know, before I do, just to run through this, it has a fire alarm panel 0 to 12 zone, 13 to 80 zone, 81 to 300 zone. I'm reading these top ones right over here, okay? So also, it has enunciator panel, fire phone. I'm going to scroll down, just read a few of these off to you. Go explore these for yourself, though, because they show you that, you know, you'll, you'll, you'll see where to input these items. Smoke detector, 
um, pull station, strobe speaker, high output strobe, tamper switch, etc. Okay, damper connection. So, so go explore these items, and you just put quantities in. I'm going to put eight of these in. Oops, not enunciator panels. Here, I'm going to put. Uh, there we go down a little bit here. One fan control panel, seven smoke detectors. Again, like a laundry list here. Click Add, populates to the right, click Save. Okay, now for low voltage in another video, again, I'm going to show you, make sure you watch the video on assemblies, okay? Assemblies is a very fast way to input these products. Okay, that's it for this video. You know, I want to add one thing now that I said that's it for this video. Um, there's a place, and, and it's called a recap report, this will be in other videos, where it shows totals um, of your labor, okay? So that's in another video.